Now I'm gonna start out with my lower unit, changing that gear lube out. All it is on these Mercury 60s is that bottom screw and this top screw. You'll just remove those, let it drain, and then you're gonna fill it back up. I'm gonna start by removing this top one. I'm gonna remove the bottom. You start trimming your motor down so that you can get that last bit of gear out of there. While that's draining, we're gonna go ahead and prep for the oil. So we're gonna take and we're gonna loosen our oil fill cap. I set that off to the side. You want that air flow through there when you're draining the oil. Filters right here. And then we've got an 11 16 socket right there that's gonna drain that oil. Now I've already broken this loose for the sake of video, so I'm gonna just go ahead and take this out. And you gotta be careful because this is gonna start shooting out of here and pouring out. So have your drain pan ready. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our gear lube and you've got to have one of these pumps. I bought it with a kit last year. And this is my old gear lube that I used last year. I still haven't used all of it, so I'm gonna use the rest of it on this change. I'm gonna keep that new bottle. But basically you take this, you screw this little end onto the bottom down here, and then you're gonna pump it until it starts coming out the top. And that's when you know you're full. This just threads in right here. Thread that all the way in. And you're gonna start pumping. All right, once it starts coming out the top, you'll take your prep, your prep bolt. Let the air bubbles get out of there. Now this will act as a seal, so it's not gonna drain out of the bottom very much when you take the bottom off. Now that you're done with your gear lube, your oil should be done draining. Now you're gonna take, break this oil filter free. And you'll take this, I got this in a kit as well, an oil change kit. It doesn't come with this 300 hour one, but you're gonna put this up under the oil filter. And the reason is so that you don't get oil draining down into your motor. Now there's not a lot that drips, but the, the stuff that does drip, you wanna catch it, so that's what that's for. Now you'll open your new oil filter. I'll take and put it, put it on my finger, rub it around this seal so you don't rip that seal off as you're tightening this thing down. Inspect everything. And then you can slap your new oil filter on. All right, once you've got that back in, we're gonna get ready to fill our wool. And you can see right here on the top of your motor, it will tell you that this motor takes three liters or 3.2 quarts. So what you'll do here is I'll take my funnel, I'll set it in like this. And I'll start pouring my oil in. This is 3.7 liters. So I'll pour it until I feel like it's, it's getting close and then I'll check my oil. And then if I need to add more, I'll add more. All right, your engine oil dipstick so that you can check your oil is going to be on the left side of your motor. You'll just pop this up, pull this out, check your levels. All right, once you check your oil and you're satisfied with it, double check everything. Make sure you've got everything tight. Everything sealed back up. Throw your cover on. 
and you just completed your oil change and lower unit oil change, which you should do yearly.